Hey guys, I'm back with another video to teach you how to build web applications with React. So in this video, we are going to learn a very interesting topic that is uh, dynamic imports. We will be looking at what is the difference between the normal way of importing the components into the React application and what is the benefit of using dynamic import and what exactly is the difference between two of them and how dynamic imports are actually better than the normal way of importing components into the react application so to explain in a very generic way i have this simple application running on my local host 3000 so in this application we just have a navigation bar and we have a few buttons on the navigation bar so we have built a different routes in this application for example if i click on home i am on the home page if i click on shop i am on the shop page and if i go to about we are on the about page contact we are on the contact page so in a very generic way i'm going Going to explain why do we need dynamic imports into our applications what happens is when the react application and the all the code and the components written into the react application are loaded in the browser when i go and refresh and go to that url so this entire application is loaded into the browser as a single application with all the components being loaded all at once so why this happens is because we have imported all the components into our root file of the application that is app.js because we have imported all the components here together and this is the root file where we are displaying all the components so when we refresh the application all these components get loaded all at once in the browser now for the smaller applications it doesn't matter much if they are loaded all at once but if i have a large application with thousands of components in it it's going to matter it's going to matter because the speed of the application is going to be impacted if all, all the components are being loaded all at once when i go to the root url so we can actually check whether all the components are being loaded all at once or not by right click on the console inspect so then you have to go to sources so in the sources you will see there is a localhost 3000 under that we have that directory where all the code is being loaded so under the source and the components you will see that all the components are loaded home shop contact about so now all the components are loaded even though we are not using these components right now we are actually on the home page so why all the components are being loaded is because we are using the normal imports or what if we used dynamic imports so what will happen on that case so on the, if we are using dynamic imports into this application when i go to the home page my home page will be loaded in the components whereas all other components uh, will not be loaded for example if i have uh, thousands of components in my react application whereas on the home page i'm using only one component so when somebody goes to the root url the speed of the application is going to be much faster if all other components are not being loaded because they are not being used on the home page so in case of dynamic imports we will not see all the components here in the components file we'll only see the home.js we will not see all other components because they will be loaded only when we click on that particular page for example if i refresh the application application and go to the home page only home component is going to be loaded whereas if i go click on the shop page then this shop component is going to be loaded when i click on about page then this about is going to be loaded into the browser so this will significantly improve the speed of the react application speed matters a lot in applications from the seo point of view that is search engine optimization in the next step we are actually going to code this simple application from scratch and then we are going to see the difference between the normal imports and the dynamic imports in a very practical way this was only the generic explanation stay tuned till the end of the video and subscribe to the channel so guys i have a fresh react application running on my local host 3000 we are going to start coding and see what exactly is the difference between the normal imports and the dynamic imports and we are going to actually implement it into this react application so to start with we are going to install react 
check out the DOM and build the navigation bar and the different routes of the application. And then we are going to implement the dynamic imports. So if you want to skip to the part of the video where I implement the dynamic imports, feel free to do so. Because in this part, I'm just going to install React Router DOM and build the navigation bar and the different routes in the application. So let's start doing that. So here is my React application that's running on the local host. So first thing I'm going to do is I, I'll remove all the basic stuff and put hello world. It's all working. So first thing we should do is actually we should install react router dom into this application so i'm going to do npm install react router dom okay so now react router dom is installed in the application so next step we are going to do is we are going to build some components that we need in the application so let's create a folder components so inside the folder i'm going to create home.js shop.js about.js and contact.js so we got the four components we are going to create something inside these components so this is my home component where i say i am home page we are not focusing on building these components because main thing we want to focus in this is to learn dynamic imports so in the show component i'm just going to say i am shop page same thing we are going to do in the contact i am contact page and the about so here i will say i am about page so we got the uh, all the four components in the components folder so the next thing we are going to do is we are going to import all these components into app.js let's import one by one import home and then we are going to import shop component let's import about component and the last is contact so we have imported all the components now we are going to just show all these components here just to see if everything is working fine so i'm going to display all the components one by one here so we got shop we got about and the contact we can see that everything is working fine our imports are working fine we are able to see all the components but we don't want to show all these components like that what we want to do is we want to import react router dom and implement the different routes for all these components i'm going to delete this for now and first thing we are going to do is find some cool navigation bar in the browser we are not going to like manually build all the navigation bar by writing all the css i'm just going to find some navigation bar online and copy it into the application so navigation bar html and css so here in the w3 schools i can find i need a horizontal navigation bar so this is one of the example i used in the application so i'm just going to see all the code and this is how it looks when implemented so i'm not going to uh, look too much into html and css i'm just going to copy this navigation bar here and put this navigation bar into the react application so i have copied all the html i am also going to copy all the css just to make sure everything works fine as for the i'm going to copy all the css into app.css so let's see how the application looks. okay so we got the navigation bar so now we are going to build routes and show the right components under the so here it's not the news for we actually need a shop shop here so i'm going to change it to shop and i'm also going to change the h refs here this is the root so this is going to be slash shop this will be slash contact and slash about so let's save it so now if i go and go to the root and then i click on the home i see the root on the shop i see backslash shop contact about so this is working fine what we need to do is we also need to show the component here at the bottom so for that we are going to need a react router dom we are going to import few things so import routes and then we are going to import a router as browser router from react router dom so everything is fine as of now so everything seems to be working fine we have imported all the uh, required components from react router dom so next thing we are going to do is we are going to wrap this entire application into the router and inside this we are going to create some route and we need some route components here so how route works is it takes the path that is the path that we want to show here uh, that is the the first route is going to be for the root path and the element that we are going to show here is that is going to be our home component so this is the first route that we are going to need and 
under the routes so you can see that there is some error here that is the router is not being imported correctly so i'm going to go and correct my imports here so actually i should import browser router as router i'm going to correct my imports here so now this error is gone and we are all good let's keep creating our other routes i'm going to copy because i need four routes i'm going to copy this three more times so my second route is going to be backslash shop where i'm going to show my shop component and third is going to be contact so here i'm going to show the contact component and the last one is about and here we should show the about component so that's all our different uh, routes with the react router dom are implemented and let's see how the application looks in the browser so in the root we can see the home page if i click on the home it takes to the root which is the home page and then if i click on shop it shows the shop contact about so all the routes seems to be working fine so again just to refresh our memory if i am going to click and inspect on this and go to sources i'll be able to find the folder where all the code is uh, imported into the browser and under the components i can see that all the components are loaded even though i'm, I'm only on the home page and only home component is being displayed but still the entire application is being loaded into the browser so this is a point where we start implementing the dynamic imports and try to improve the speed of the application and what we basically want when i'm uh, going to the root file uh, the root uh, that is the home page the only home component should be uploaded into the browser and all other components should not be loaded they should be loaded only when when i click on them so to do that we are going to change our imports into the dynamic imports so let's go and do that in in the application so here in the application this is where we are importing the components and we are going to make some changes to it uh, the way we import the components are going to be different from now on so for this we need to import few more things we need to import react from react and then we are going to need a, a lazy function we are going to import lazy from react we have imported lazy from react and now what we are going to do is we can keep the home component that is being imported as a normal import whereas the all other components the other three components i am just going to comment it for now we are going to change it to dynamic imports and then we will go to browser and see how it improves the application so to import these components dynamically the syntax is going to be uh, different and we are going to use this lazy function so let's import them so i'm going to import my shop component using lazy so how this is going to work is inside the lazy i need to create a simple function and this function will be importing my shop component from the folder so this is how we import the component when we want to convert it to dynamic imports so basically it's lazy loading the shop component which means this component will be loaded only when we click on the shop page so if we go back to the application just to see if we have any errors yes we got the errors because we commented these two components we are going to fix that so i'm going to copy this uh, two more times and i'm going to import contact from the contact folder and about from the about folder so that's it we have converted these normal imports into the dynamic imports so now let's see if everything is working fine so when we go to the home page we can see the home page when we click on the shop page uh, so we got some errors here that we are going to go back and fix so let's go back to the code and see what we have done so to fix that what i found is in the home page i'm using i'm exporting this component as a default whereas in the shop page i forgot to use default export i'm just going to remove the export from here and i'm going to say export default shop so i think this should be better because now this file is by default it's exporting the shop so the same thing we are going to correct it in the contact so here by default i'm going to export my contact and same thing i'm going to correct in my about which is we should be using export default about here i can remove the export from here so that's all good so uh, what we have changed in this components is only this time we are just exporting them as a default from the file so now let's see if this has improved anything in the browser so you can see that when i click on the home page i can see the home on the shop i can see contact about so you can see that from the application it doesn't look like that dynamic imports are really doing anything if i let's say comment this back again and 
I import them in a normal way. Import top. Um, I'm just going to copy this three times. Change it to shop from the shop aisle. About um about and the last one is contact um contact. So now I have commented this and uh, changed them back to the normal imports. Now if I go to my file, I can see that it's still working fine. Now if I comment my normal imports for these three components and change it to the dynamic imports what's happening it seems it's still just working the same way as before but there is a change so let's compare now uh, what's happening when we are using dynamic imports so i'm going to refresh it and i'll go to inspect this file let's go to sources and the folder where the code is being imported into the browser so now under the components you see that there is only home here what about other component why they are not loaded here they are not loaded because we are loading them as a lazy components which means they are only going to be loaded when i click on that particular route and that component will be loaded here but otherwise it's only the home component that is going to be loaded when i go to my the basic route that is home so let's see if it happens when i click on the shop page now let's see so now you can see that there are two components loaded home and shop now if i go to the contact so now you can see that there are two components loaded that is home and contact so what's happening here is basically it's loading the component only when we click on that particular component so this is basically going to improve the speed of the application when somebody goes to the local host 3000 or any domain where the application is hosted that page is going to load much faster than it would have been loaded if i have been using the normal imports why because it's loading less data into the browser it's not loading all these components it's only loading the home page it's loading the other components only when they are needed in the application when somebody clicks on them whereas if if i change it back to the normal imports so to the user the application still works same as it was before but if i refresh it and if i see my source or components you will see that all the components are being loaded so this is a major difference these dynamic imports make into the application using dynamic imports is much more beneficial and most of the professional applications use dynamic imports because as the application becomes large it has thousands of components we really need dynamic imports into the application but if you are building any hobby project which is small like a small portfolio which is having few pages you don't have to worry about using dynamic imports you can just go with the normal imports because it's not going to make any major difference in the speed of the application so i hope you found this video helpful if you did subscribe to the channel and i'll be posting much more videos on react application see you soon Thank <music> you.